Well, we're up to session 18. So as you can see by all the colors here, we've finished all the components of the entire receiver, except for the mute. So we'll do that when we build the transmitter. And right now, there is NorCal 40B number, uh, <laughs> number one on the bench. And I'm gonna tip it up here and uh, crank down the vise. And first of all, we'll start with the control session, which is the NorCal 40A next to us that read out its frequency. Extra credit for commenting what it said. And on a rare day, we have a signal on 40 meters, so that's good. So while that's on, and it hopefully will stay there, we're going to connect this thing up and see what we get. So I'll give one more tune because we're going to share the speaker amplifier. <laughs> that looks like it might have been it. That's all I hear until I go do my interference investigation tomorrow. So let's not expect anything to get tuned in on the NorCal 40B, but we'll hope for, hopefully get some background noise. So here is the NorCal 40A with the antenna disconnected. And here is, let's see, we'll move the audio. You can see that is this plug. We'll move that over here to the 40B. Okay, that's in. We're powered up. And absolutely nothing so far. So there's a good power on test for you. Now the question is, is the receiver muted because the AGC is muting it? So let's see if that's true. We will turn this new pot that we added. Looks like that won't turn it. We will try this and see if that will turn it. Well, I think we're completely dead. So let's see if uh, pin two on the LM386 is alive. It is. So I think now it's time for the schematic. So we just touched right there. Oh, no, no, pardon me. We touched right there. And that means we should be able to touch around C20 and see what we feel is happening. Let's see. Let's see if I can get you guys a better look. We'll move over a bit and tilt it down. That gets rid of most of the glare. We'll zoom in like that. And maybe head over here a bit. You can hear whenever we get close to the iPhone, we hear uh, iPhone RF noise, which probably means it's hitting me too. There's C20. And so this FET, if we don't hear anything on the input of that FET, that would make me think there's something up there. So the easiest way to see that is R4, which is the 8.2 meg, and that's right here. So here's one end. Here's the other end. Although that doesn't look very soldered to me, I might check that. That means that we should have input from the product detector, so I can check AF out on U2. And U2 is here. So if we look at pins four and five, there's four and five. So that would make me think uh, something before has been altered. That's the antenna switch in the correct place now. Let me see if we can turn this speaker up anymore. See what you can hear there. I'll turn down the RF gain. Yeah, so there is something there, but not much. And if I touch, um, I think you saw that. If I touched 
here. That makes me think we need to tune the front end a bit, so let's try that. That doesn't fit. We'll try that same metallic screwdriver again, or in a pinch. That does have a slight peak that you guys probably can't hear. Well, that says something, doesn't it? <laughs> so with a non-metallic screwdriver, I don't, know if that, I don't think it will fit in that hole. It won't. So let me get the plastic one. All right, this should do. There's an ever so small peak there, but that did peak. But that makes me wonder what's up with the antenna. So that's C1, which is here. And that goes to RX antenna. And if we follow that over here, RX antenna goes here and it goes out the low pass filter. So the question is, if I turn off the, I'll turn the tuner to bypass. I'll turn it to dummy load. <laughs> Doesn't do much. All right, so we're leaving it on the 40 meter dipole on bypass. So then uh, if we look at this input, I'm gonna put my screwdriver on C44. That's here. So it may be that this low pass filter needs some tuning. I'll try L8. Now that sounds pretty alive. That would make me think I might have the wrong connector on the antenna because my screwdriver is a better antenna than my antenna. <laughs> Let's see. And you know, that would be true. I've got two antenna switches. Here's another faux pas of testing. Let me show you that. So on the wall, there are two antenna switches. This goes to this, to the ICOM below, and this goes to the two QRP rigs. So there we are. So uh, we just peaked the front end up again on a different radio. So I may have to change that antenna arrangement because I've done that twice now. Anyway, there was some debug for you for no good reason. <laughs> So let's just see if there's a station on the band. So we are uh, all the way to the left. That should be 7000. And I'll get out the paper above. And so I'll show you the, uh, the tuning decoder sheet until we have something better is right here. So here's the tuner decoding sheet. So if I back up from turn 10 to turn seven, I'm about 7040. So we'll look around there. So this is 10, nine, eight, seven. And there should be a broadcast station there, but there isn't. I hear plenty of receiver noise, but no stations. And as you guys witnessed, there was one earlier. So until I find the source of noise that's swamping everything out, I think that's it. So I do want to try to see what the AGC pot does now that we're powered up with static. So let's see what that does. Yeah, that kind of does what you think. It mutes it. So I think if we advance, that's about the speed of our AGC. So I think if we hit about that threshold, that should be the AGC threshold. And that seems to happen at about nine o'clock on the pot. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now because it doesn't cause any effect on the receive signal and uh, seems to work. So I'm gonna call that the quick test of this until I get my antenna system fixed. Um, just for fun, we'll switch back uh, to the NorCal 40A because it's able to tune the whole band in one swipe. And we'll see if there's anybody here.
and there isn't. Oh, there's one. Let's see if we can find that guy on the NorCal 40A. So this frequency is... Sounds like 30 to me. Let's see what we can find. So 30 for this radio would be five turns. So we're gonna go to the top and come back down. Switch back the antenna and count back five. One, two, three, four. There we are, we got, if only we had a transmitter, huh? So this is working, pretty cool. So there's the completed receiver. We're gonna head uh, to the next session to start building the transmitter. Uh, comment if you want me to go faster on the transmitter and just burn through it. There isn't much to build, actually. There's a uh, two-stage output, tra uh, output transistors and uh, the receive mixer. And we know that switch on the input, the, the mute. So let me know what you'd like to see. We can do it in one shot or I can pre-populate it. Uh, maybe this section and this section. Anyway, I think we have success. What do you think? Let's see if that guy can activate the AGC. Yeah, you can hear the background noise go down, so the AGC is working. Pretty cool stuff. All right, well, there's a quick look at uh, NorCal 40B with the receiver complete, moving on to the transmitter. Please make a comment. Tell me if you have a receiver built or uh, if you're waiting on parts or if you have a NorCal 40A kit you're working on because I've got uh, one of those in progress as well. So let me know where we're at, and I'll try to sync up with some of you. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.